Hey guys, it's me, Red Coyote, and I'm back. And I got some good news. Good news is that my nose isn't filled with, you know, I'm not gonna say it so I won't grow to. Uh, the bad news is my throat is still a little, uh, stuff to issue. My throat is. <clears throat> you're probably gonna keep on hearing me having to clear my throat or <clears> cough. <throat> but the good news is that we're here to get fuel for this plane that Nick has mentioned hundreds of times. So let's go and get it. Oh, that's it. Oh wow. Okay. Let's... Whoa! What the frick is that thing? It looks like a zombie except it has a beehive as a head. Uh, uh, please don't eat me, man. Don't eat me. <clears throat> oh, it must be the mutation Hemlock was talking about. Uh, what are you doing? Let's be queen. Oh, he just exploded with royal jelly. Uh oh, it must be turning the zombies into stronger stuff. The frick was that thing? Seriously. What the hell was that thing? Okay, interesting. They explode. Who would it if it was? Kill you. Uh, okay, before we uh, go into this car, we need to. I'm just gonna look around. <coughs> yeah. Don't know why I got Rock on. like this. Ooh, vodka. Exactly what uh, Melvin Benton, aka Arthur and Jose, had to uh, give away. That was fun. That's like one of the missions I'm never gonna forget. And this was the same place Hunter had to go to to get <clears throat> a bike. I'm trying to clear my throat here. Ooh, a blue. Yes, finally another blueprint. Super crap. What? Crossbow and more motor oil. Wait a minute, that can't be it. Motorcycle engine. Where are we gonna find that at? Okay. Oh, there it is. Come on. Gosh dang it. Super crossbow. Sweet. Holy shoot, yeah. Ooh, a chocolate bar. Yes, please. We're just gonna eat this for fun. Oh, what's this? Achievement unlocked. Created 50 combo weapons. Ah, cool. Man, I've gotten a lot of achievements on here. Reminds me of that one time when I got uh, um, the Extreme Personality on RDR2, and I think I got a lot of excited because when I watched the, the video, my voice got kind of very <coughs> high. Oh, more of them. Oh, not all of them have, uh, you know, honey, uh, have uh, beehive pet. Get off my ride! Get off, I need this fuel. Stop. <laughs> Yeah! Alright, out of my way here. Alright, are you on my guard? Crap, this thing could blow any second. Uh, you think so, Nicholas? Well, I guess with all the fuel, I mean, it can't. Oh, now all of a sudden these uh, mutation zombies are all around all of a sudden. 
<laughs> we are currently in South Aluma Get off my car! This better not be corrected by the time I get there. Thank you, Red, for giving me all this fuel. I do to you, there was some good idea. You know, the black guy that, wear, that doesn't even wear any red. <laughs> Emergency alert siren's gonna come on. So I'm gonna be quiet in the next few minutes until it comes on. I've seen some crazy shit out there, but I'm gonna find Diego and we're gonna get this plane fixed. We're gonna get out. You and me. Remember, we are survivors. No. Escape or die. Save your substantial ass. See, did you just hear it? You just heard. See, look. Look, they just. Like, Larry, did you just hear the alert sirens? I told you it was going to come on. If you guys didn't hear it, then... That's sad. Can I tell you something uh, funny? I'm absolutely scared of emergency alert systems. Not because of the voice that, you know, that talks. You know, it's because of the alert sirens. Like... Like, especially when I'm sleeping at night, and then all of a sudden, boom! Which has happened a lot Listen, sometimes. honey, <clears throat> we got the fuel, but this plane is not getting off the ground without a few parts. Are you kidding me? We need a rudder arm, a flywheel, and an altimeter. I don't want to get all that. How are we going to find those? Another achievement, Happy Camper. Fly house or something in town. In the meantime, you need to go find that friend of yours. I think he went back to that stupid ass museum. A museum? Something about trying to be a hero or something like that. I gotta find him. The authorities are after him. Hemlock, I think. Uh oh. They must be hard up. I think the government's doing something real bad to people out there. The president's death wasn't an accident. She was killed by Hemlock. Yeah, they get put a zombie worm. What are those for? You're starting to sound like that little illegal paranoid friend of yours. It's true. Hey, did you turn her into that man to get the fuel? No. Let's just say I came up with a different plan. <laughs> You're one of the good ones, Nick. Yeah, yeah, and he, uh, and he like need a Nick in the balls. Uh. I worry about you, and 
Don't let him hurt you. Yeah, Gary did. He looked about to close the skin off. And then he got whacked by a soldier in the face. Okay, uh, well, let's see. Let's go save Diego before he gets killed or. Ooh, yes! Yes! Finally, a blast from the past! Well, that's what they call it in Dead Rising um, 2. I mean, and Dead Rising 4. I, I don't think they even have this uh, combo weapon in Dead Rising 2. But yeah, this is the weapon they have in Dead Rising 4. Like, I've probably yes. used it a few times called Blast from the Past. Not in this one, though. Okay. See if it's still Let's good. Do <laughs> oh! I'm going to do that in Dead Rising 4. Ah! See, what if I do it to these guys? <laughs> <laughs> Or could work. What the heck? Oh, believe it or not, we only have like uh, Hell yes. five more days, or only until the fourth of July. I think. And uh, the new Spider-Man. Um, uh, uh, what was it called again? I know what it's called. Just to me. Um. Okay, the new Spider-Man is. Far from home, yeah, that's coming out on a Tuesday. I've never seen a movie come out on a Tuesday. I've only seen it come out mostly Fridays and a few on Wednesdays. So, yeah, that's kind of a few. Oh, no. Back up, you can see some car. Dead Rising 3 and 4. <clears throat> yeah, I've never done a Dead Rising uh, marathon. I've only done it for Red Dead Redemption 2, but this is going to be different. Uh, Boom. Big Oh, hey, I actually a new, uh, look in the mirror. Oh, I knew it. I actually knew it girl named Nora back in a while. So that's nice for you. Right now, that's important that we get to this gosh darn fire. Ah, it's gonna blow. Oh, shoot. Gosh, that's just, that reminds me of the best of the theory, you know, the first one. Where are these Chinese jerks that shoot up Brian's car, and then Brian and Dom have to run away from it, obviously, and then boom, it explodes, and then they, get, then they gotta take a taxi home. I like that. I like that one. It's, it's cool. Like, I've seen two people who said that the first Fast and Furious should be rated R. Yeah, which is common sense media of, you know, on this, um, website. Or something where they you can like watch that. Will, okay, well, cool. Nice. Diego better be in that will tell you how old you should be to watch a, a movie, or like how old you should play a game. And I think that some of them, I think, it is like, uh, but, but there's just some that I kind of disagree with. And my sister actually said that, it, that the Fast and Furious one should be rated. 
why? Because one time we were on the plane, and she was like, hey, what's this movie rated? And I was like, PG-13, because that's what it is. And she was like, it should be rated R. And I was like, Ugh. Oh, yeah, there kind of are a few scenes that could have been, you know, not so R-ish looking, but, you know, it's just how it's going to be. Yes! Ha-ha! Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I know what this is. We'll have to combine this later. I oh water and a bagel. All right, come on, let's go. Okay, maybe my nose is still snotty-ish. Turn it. Diego, where are you? Diego. Where are you, amigo? What the? Diego? Must fight covarde. Not coward. Seriously, man. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, we got. The bomb is gonna go off in four more days. Literally. Ration. I wonder what rations look like in real life. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this up after this. Maybe. Where'd he go? <coughs> oh cool, dinosaur. Come on, man. Come out. Dinosaur. Ah Oh, holy mammoth. Hey kid, this was like one of my favorite things to, you know, this is like my favorite like a past history thing. The prehistoric times with woolly mammoths and saber two tigers. Now that I really, I that's like my favorite, you know, um, history and um history thing. Diego, Diego, get back here now. You need to stop this. Diego, where are you, man? Oh, please, man. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? Diego! Listen, man, I'm begging you. We, we gotta get out of here. We, we do not have time for this. Oh, cool. Oh, that's the lamp. Let me guess. Is he gonna be riding a jetpack? Oh, that is so cool. Well, this does take place in 2021, so... Get out of here. Yeah, I guess the jetpack is quite big. Life form shall be neutralized and any organic remnants brought back to the ship for further analysis. What are you doing? No. Diego? No! Have you got crazy? No. Oh my gosh, okay, we... Did you go see some therapy? Stop flying around already! Come on, Diego. I don't want to do this. No! <laughs> Okay, this is the same music uh, that, you know, was played in you when you fight the, the, the knight in the Dead Rising 4. I remember that video where, that was hard, like, it took me, like, maybe 20 minutes to actually defeat those knights. And then I had to face their boss, Sandra. <laughs> so far, this is going easy. I needed that! Do you not know how to use a jetpack, man? This is easy. You're almost dead, my friend. Well, no, you're not almost dead. Okay, you're almost defeated. You're just standing here, and I'm just doing it. Okay, let's. Do oh, just get there. Okay. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna take a bit. Come on. 
throw out that what what the oh she oh no oh that's cool oh, wow without if you're getting hit by it the titan a helicopter from the world war one a shark a, a satellite a, a spaceship a, And the Titanic, the whale. Ow. Bad timing. Oh yeah, I forgot I had something. Ah ha ha! I did it. Wait, that's weird. I didn't even. Ooh. Yay! I did it. Diego. Diego, are you okay? I'm what? so sorry I had to do that to you, please. Get up, bud. Uh, uh, what was that that you were saying uh, about your mama? Hey. About your mama? My mother used to say that to me. About the only thing I can remember when I was a little kid. That sounds like the same thing Carlito Keys from Dead Rising 1, you know, said. I should notice that I've watched gameplay of it. The second time you fight him, he says, Pacha your mama, and kisses his... I saw something. Hey, Chuck Green. It really scared me, man. Like, Is it a necklace? It really scared the crowd. Frank West. Come on. That guy looks familiar. Carlito. That's what he Carlito, looks like please. if... if uh... Yeah. Well, he was the terrorist that he caused the outbreak. He looks different in the first game. Then he was His killed. sister Isabella helped him. Isabella, they the girl who Frank had a night. crush on. Whatever happened to him, huh? Huh? He died there, I guess. It says she disappeared right after that. Man, they were supposed to have the shit under control at the Fortune City, man. And Dead Rising 2. That those Zombrix chips were supposed to keep everybody in line. Now look at this. Uh, you see this? This really scares the crap out of me, man. This zombie is reported to have begun the Smithville outbreak in 2007. 2007. The first outbreak to occur after Willamette. That was literally like the second the outbreak. Snake. Wow. Whoa. Holy shoot. No, 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 holy crap, man! No, what does that mean, man? I don't know, right? What the hell? Shit. Okay, look, we, we, we need to focus on the problems that we can solve first, okay? Let's get the hell out of town, and then we'll figure out what's going on. You still have that key, right? Shit! Those gang dudes bugged me on the, the way bikers. here. The bikers, ah. They took the plane key. Nick, we gotta get it back. I'm not editing this video until I kill those bike gangs for the key. What is it, bro? Nothing, man. It's all good. Let's just go find those keys. Wait, wait, before we get out of here, I want to read the facts on this thing. Alright, I want to read the facts on this thing. Oh, cool, a Frank thing. Alright, what's this? Major outbreaks have occurred in Willamette, Las Vegas, and we got to get out of the city and soon. Upwards of 700,000 people. 700. Outbreak locations of. Oregon, California. Oh, hey, that's where we're at. A disproportionate number appear to have begun in foster homes and orphanages. What's this? Who the frick is that girl? Okay, let's read about Chuck Green. Of the Fortune City outbreak. Yeah, and he got framed there for it. He was initially accused of beginning the outbreak intentionally as an act of revenge for his wife's death in Las Vegas. He was subsequently cleared when he was able to produce evidence that television personality TK. Cairo King. King. Well, that was his full name, but everyone called him TK. Outbreak. I knew that. Dead Rising 2 is hard. Like, seriously, like, when I try shooting someone, that guns are seriously useless and. I mean, it, it has a good story, but like, if they made it like as easy as this one, like, then I think people would I like it more. Going. They said they were going to the mansions, man. Well, the rich people there. Like, like, I'm pretty sure people got very excited when they found that a second Dead Rising was coming in 2010. So yeah, that was. Yeah. Right. I never meant to hurt you, man. When we were little, you used to protect me, and this is how I pay you back. It's okay, Diego. Diego, you weren't yourself. I get it. I really do. This is 
situation doesn't exactly bring out the best of you. Alright. Here, let's get in this car. Twenty-six minutes long, and I do not want to make it like thirty minutes long right now. So um, I'll just end it here now. I'll make another video when we get this thing. See ya.